the clock tower. Yeah. Always uh, the unfinished look. Unfinished? This clock tower is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Was that the original plan? Yeah, because I want Angela to hire me to come back and finish it. <laughs> the tower's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Don't touch it. Perfect clock tower. I mean, it even has a clock on it. It was a trick. No, actually, the clock tower, this goes to the question of uh, what I was saying before. It's, um, it's skeletal in its nature, so all of you can see it is kind of abstract. Um, I think if I were doing it right now, I probably would uh, take the, uh, those members that are there and using lures or translucent panels of some sort to make the thing kind of crystalline thing complete. Right? But it wasn't a money thing. The city of Mississauga never said, no, you're not doing that because you ran out of money. No, they never said that. They were supportive right through. They were only supportive because we never ran out of budget. <laughs> and they were supportive straight through. But I, I think there are little things like that that, uh, that just like the idea of the Civic Center being not a kind of pristine, symmetric, isometrical thing that looks complete and forever the same, but it, it invites a kind of open-ended evolution by virtue of asymmetry. Same thing about the, the, you know, the clock tower has kind of quality of being constructed in the sense that it's something that's evolving. Um, but there are little things like that that I would highly tune out if I were invited to do so. Yeah. Uh, we did run out of money. I still am asked, in fact, about a month ago, I was asked, when are you going to finish the tower? <laughs> I said, it will never be finished. <laughs> it's a conversational piece. In fact, it's the thing that most people talk about, is that tower. When are you going to complete it? And so, uh, it's quite, quite exciting.